We're turning things over now to sports tonight. We've got Virginia Tech with their first ACC tournament title. WFXR sports reporter David Guzman joining us live from the Barclays Center. David, what are you seeing out there? Oh my goodness, Amanda, what a scene here in Brooklyn. It looks a little clean right now behind me, right? But uh, they're still cleaning up all of this, all the confetti. A lot of it fell, and a lot of it was obviously orange and maroon in favor of the Hokies because the Hokies got it done. Let's, we, if we can, take a look at the celebration video after the game. Virginia Tech defeating Duke by a final score of 82 to 67. And just think about it. This was going to be a special night regardless of the outcome. Duke head coach Mike Krzyzewski chasing his 16th ACC tournament title in his final season. But the Hokies pulling off what many will call an upset. Uh, Mike Young making his first appearance in an ACC championship. This team making its first ever appearance in an ACC championship and was led by Hunter Couture, who scored a career high 31 points and was named the tournament MVP. Let's listen to him and what he had to say after the game. We aren't surprised. We kind of knew going through this year what we had. And I said before during the year when we were going through the lows that there's going to be some highs. So I think this is a pretty good high right now. We just got to stay connected in our locker room, off the court, on the court, on the defensive end. And I think that's what has got us this ACC championship. No, ACC champs, it's, uh, it's really speechless. I got a whole lot of emotions in here. Some tears back there, but I'm so happy. Uh, this is exactly why I came here. Uh, we've been working for this all summer. And, we, we believed all year. We believed we would do this. So uh, just super proud of our guys. It's unbelievable. More importantly, this team is headed to the big dance. For the longest time, Virginia Tech was on the bubble. Remember, the Hokies started ACC play with a 2-7 and seven record. A week ago, this team lost to Clemson. It felt like all hopes were dashed of getting an at-large bid, but this entire week, starting with the overtime win over Clemson, then defeating Notre Dame in the quarterfinals, then defeating UNC last night in the semifinals, it all led up to this moment, and now a huge sigh of relief because they can go into Selection Sunday knowing that they're going to be part of the big dance, and of course, we'll find out where the Hokies are headed in the NCAA tournament tomorrow. Reporting live for one last time from the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, David DeGuzman, WFXR Sports.